Hi, this video is to show you how to use a Keurig. First, you need a Keurig. Second, you need a cup. Thirdly, you need a little K-cup. That's short for K-cup. So right now I have a Green Mountain Corfee, Corfee, <laughs> Corfee, <laughs> Colombian Fair Trade Select Medium Roast Coffee. Now you know you can get these in a variety of flavors. It's delicious. Even Dunkin' Donuts has them out. Starbucks has them out. They're amazing. Okay, so first what you do, you have your Keurig. You're going to put the power button on. Okay, now you're going to wait until it starts blinking, I think. <laughs> no, I guess it's ready. You have to make sure that there's water. So you have water basically up to here right now, and that's enough. That's enough. So, okay, I guess you don't have to wait until that's blinking. So what you do is you lift up. See, I don't know if you've seen that. Okay, see, it's blinking. That means it's ready. So you're going to lift it up. You're going to take your cake cup, throw it in there. You're going to press down. Now, if you look at these three buttons, it shows if you have like a really, really small cup, if you have a regular sized cup and a huge mug. Now, I usually, if you like your coffee to be dark and rich, you would press that. It would come out much stronger. Uh, this is very, very light coffee. I like the metal. So now you're going to take your cup, put it under your Keurig, and you're going to press the button that you select. I'm pressing this one. And now, delicious goodness comes out. Oh, yum, it's gone. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh that's delicious. See, it's nice and dark. It's not too light. And it doesn't fill up all the way. Where if you were to press the light, the light button, it would fill up really, really all the way. And it would be much weaker. I don't like weak coffee. I'm really a Cafe Bustella girl. I like my Puerto Rican coffee. So... You're going to hear it at the end. Watch, listen. Watch. Oh, sure. That's when you know your coffee is done, baby. And that is how you use a Keurig. And it gives you that at the end. That means it's over, baby. Now you can drink your coffee. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed my video on how to make coffee from a Keurig. Bye.